stepping into a strange area right here. Some weird liquid on the ground. Uh, it's a bad. Look at this. This is one of those alleys right there. This is what you don't want to do, folks, is stop to look at stuff. But good afternoon, folks. We are out here on Manchester and Figueroa. First video of the new year. All right, back at it. Today is December 31st, the last day of this year. Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, ready to get back in action and try and film as much as possible this entire year. Uh, today, we're out here a little further south than we usually start. And we're going to keep going south from here. I see what's going on around these parts. I haven't been down here past Manchester in a while. So that's kind of the agenda today. Hover around Manchester a bit. See what we have to see over here and uh, do a little bit of exploring. You know, nothing out of the ordinary. If you're new here, welcome. I ride bikes around different places. Talk about what I see about it uh, that's exactly what we're doing today with all that said buckle up stay tuned make sure you watch to the end see what happens here we go oh man it's chilly today man it's a cold one folks it is a very cold new year's eve it is like 50 degrees out today i mean that's a little chilly i do not want to start the cold versus hot argument if you don't think that's cold well my bad i do and it is uh it's breezy today that's the best way i could put it it's not just cold but there's a wind chill it has been a minute since i've been over on this part of town uh, I always recognize this corner from the Popeyes. The last time I was over here, dude, it must have been to do a BMX video a long time ago. I find it funny that there's a Churches and a Popeyes right next to each other. They're in direct competition if you know uh, either of these places. Well, Popeyes is a, is a very popular chain, but Churches, you really only see that, you know, kind of in the hood out here in LA. I, I'm going to be honest, I don't really see it much anywhere else. I used to live two blocks from a Churches, and we would go there. Oh, all the time. I was a little fat kid, so I see HP pulling someone over. Unlucky. Looks like he's getting away with a warning, possibly. Might be getting a ticket. You never know. It's New Year's, so you know they are not playing tonight. They're out here on trying to get people slipping if they are. Got a big pile of trash right here. We're going to do as much like. Uh, kind of in-depth exploration as we can in these neighborhoods oh there's someone living here i thought this was just a random pile of stuff oh, man, that's, a, that's unfortunate we're gonna do a lot of zigzagging in these neighborhoods we're gonna see what's going on down here going even further south on fig than we usually do because uh usually when we check out fig we kind of stop around gauge that's about the furthest south that we go. Uh, and then we turn around and kind of double back and start heading back towards downtown. But right now we're pretty southbound on Fig. We're almost like by LAX. So if you know, that means we're pretty south. Let's see if we got an alley right here we can check out. No, it's kind of flooded. So we'll go ahead and not ride through any large bodies of water today. That's not really on the agenda. We're also not going to be sticking on Fig too much. That's kind of where we're going to end up because we didn't park by Fig. But I do want to hit some alleys out here. This is a place where I've never really done alley surfing. And once you start getting around these, um, these more southbound neighborhoods, I mean, uh, you just see different stuff in the alley, whether it be animals, stray dogs. I think it just rained. Down here, it didn't rain up where I live, so I'm not understanding the amount of mud that I'm riding through and wetness, but it's definitely uh, semi-flooded. I would love to go that way because it looks sick. I mean, look at how cool this alley looks, but it's very flooded. We might check it out later. I'm not scared of getting wet, but I wish I was just a little bit more well-equipped for riding through uh, mud. I'm in sneakers and joggers, so I would quickly get soaked if we ride through a bunch of mud like that. So. Not really too excited about doing that, but we may end up doing it anyway. Anyways, oh, we got a cute kitty. Nope. Sorry. Don't mind me. Passing through. Alright, let's go ahead and hit the next alley. I have some family that stays not too far from here, but, um, you know, it's New Year's. I'm the only one out, uh, quote unquote, working <laughs> on the New Year. Everybody else is celebrating already, I would assume, so. All right, we got a little bit of uh, graffiti right here. Otherwise, clean alleys. A lot of rocks in these alleys. It's just straight up flooded right there. So, you guys know I'm always worried about running into stray dogs. 
in alleys like this and this is the time and the place where you would kind of see that I don't know where this alley ends up half of me wants to shred down a little bit but this is one of those where we could get cornered so we will be taking it easy and it's very flooded I don't know if you guys are noticing how flooded the ground is out here this kind of goes into a dead end flood it just looks spooky too I'm not gonna lie <laughs> folks the last thing I want to do is just get pinched right at the beginning you know it's, it would be very easy for me to get cornered out here so we're gonna try and use our street smarts and be semi aware of what we're riding ourselves into as we roll out here and uh, dead end alleys is something that I am never a fan of in any scenario or situation so we're gonna try and avoid those as much as possible to say the least while we do try to get active in as many alleys and neighborhoods as we can nice day to be out and about got some new construction right there there are a lot of alleys out here to check out it's just like you really got to be careful about the ones you pick when you're down to south central because uh the wrong one could be bad news now i see a huge alley system that goes like almost a mile down going that way i think we're going to just turn around and hit it I just want to see what's going on this way real quick too. Pretty clean over here. I think this might be the other way that we just saw. Yeah, it is. Okay, so that's where it ends. We just go through a bunch of bunch of dirt. We can actually check this out just a little bit. Looks like there's someone's belongings up here on the left. Yeah, there's like a small camp right here. Oh, someone. Oh, looks like they got a car that they might be living out of. And uh, other than that, we got no business right here. So we're going to go and back it up. Huh. Huh. Kind of on edge, folks. So just a, just a tad bit. I'm I'm a little uh, I'm a little jittery out here. I can't lie. This is uh oh, I smell fire. Something's on fire. Something's burning. It didn't smell like a barbecue either. It smells like something on fire. Whenever you're in a uh, in different neighborhoods, it's a little. It's a little, uh, you know, it's a little, uh, it's a little weird. We got a payphone. Y'all know what to do if you know what to do. I wonder when the last time we were saw a usable payphone was on a video. It must have been over a year ago. They all have the, the phone part ripped off for whatever reason. I don't know why that is. Anyways, we're right here on the side of the freeway, so it's pretty much impossible for us to get too lost out here. Well, I mean, you can't get lost at all. Everything runs at a grid north and south. So as long as you can find fig, you'll be good. It's just when you get start when you start punching through the alleys all crazy is when uh, it gets a little hectic, to say the least. But we're down here on 83rd, so if you know anything about South Central, there's a cut. There's two main parts where it's, it's very hectic. It's around the 50s from 50th Street to 60th Street, and then once you hit like 90th Street and keep going south towards like 103rd. That's kind of the area of where it's like, uh, it's pretty crazy, right? You know, it's kind of like that's the anything goes zone. I used to hang out around 98th Street a lot because I used to date a girl who lived right there, right around 98th and Fig back in the day. Oh my God. See, this is what I talk about, riding to a dead end. Yard full of dogs, look at their caged up. They got a nice yard too. This is where you can get cornered. Yeah, you got an angry dog trying to find you. You're not gonna have a good time out here. Anywho, we just did a hot lap and we were right back on Fig, Fig in 84. We really haven't covered any distance from where we started, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go north on Fig for a little while. How you doing? <laughs> oh. Alright, let's go northbound for a bit. The thing is, we can go north here for such a long time and not even scratch the surface of all this area that we haven't covered before. Now, if my intuition serves me correct, I can make a left right here and then a quick right. 
and we'll be in some alleys. Ooh. All right, so we're back at the alleys that we saw initially. They go pretty far down, so let's check them out. That's the cool artwork right there. They go left and right too. I don't like it when I can't see the end of it though. So we're gonna go ahead and skip on that one. How you doing? Hey, hey. The homeboy's chilling, love it. Very rugged alleys. So much flooding back here. I'd like to check out more of them, but it's kind of hard with how much of it is flooded over. That's a fun alley to rip by the way. Okay. Got some fresh construction. Man, they're turning this area around quick. Still some barbed wire. Oh, we got a left right here. I think we can check this out. I see some cats. Let's go ahead and shred down it. Very nicely paved at least. Now, the possibility of running into a stray dog out here is definitely greater than zero, but you know, we're gonna play our cards right and just stay on the move. Should be fine. Working on some sport bikes back there, that's cool. Okay, we're now on Hoover in 76. We're gonna go ahead and make a left. Just going on this way, we keep going. Oh, we got another alley system. This one actually looks pretty sick. We will be checking it out. This one is gated, but it looks open. It's this way. Something you rarely see. When they have gates, usually uh, you can't access them. That one's pretty off-road. So we uh, try and get around however we can these big puddles of water. The amount of wetness out here is killing me. I swear it didn't rain last night. I don't know whether maybe it, I know it rained like the night before, but maybe it's just because it's been so cold lately. Some of the water's evaporating. So many options to go left on these. That one actually looks kind of worth going left on I say we send it <laughs> yeah. checking out new alleys where I'm semi unfamiliar with the area look at this this is what you don't want to do folks is stop to look at stuff but sometimes you just gotta appreciate the uh, you know the environment certain times where I see stuff and it just stands out to me like how this house this building looks abandoned and it's covered with graffiti uh, it's pretty cool a lot of 18 over here more than I would expect all right a little bit of trash right there we're gonna go ahead and keep going at this point ride through so much mud <laughs> luckily we keep the stock tires on the surround I'm telling you huh I think that might be a, a encampment right there, honestly. I thought it was uh, people tarping up their cars, but... Man, these alleys are pretty in-depth, actually. I didn't expect there to be this many in this part of town. But uh, we're kind of covering good ground right now. Let's go ahead and keep going. By the way, I think it goes without saying, folks, don't uh, try to emulate anything I, you ever see me do on this channel. I am a complete psychotic idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot, right? I'm exploring places where most people wouldn't even think to explore because uh, this is how I have fun, honestly. <laughs> this is what brings me uh, excitement. Okay, we're really stepping into a strange area right here. Some weird liquid on the ground. I'm not really trying to ride through it, but we are gonna try and sneak around a little bit without splashing it up. Whatever it is, it looks toxic. <laughs> it does not look uh, like something you'd wanna have splashing up in your face. A lot of aggressive graffiti right there. A little bit of mud patch. Some trash. I'm really hoping we're not coming into a dead end right here. I think we kind of are. But this is somebody's. Oh man, this, yeah, this property. I see a chicken. Usually when you see a chicken, that means a stray dog is right behind it. I think we can get through right here though. So we'll go ahead and. Oh, 
Okay, well, that's about the biggest risk we're gonna take all day. Was cutting through that. Smart? No. But sometimes it's easier to just keep going straight and turn around. To be honest. I mean, at the end of the day, these are public access alleys. Some of them are just too overgrown to get through. I don't know if you're able to see as I'm cutting past them on some of these streets, but. All right, well, that was, uh, that was a little bit of an adventure. Let's go ahead and hover onto Main Street for a second, shall we? We're right here on Florence, just past Hoover. We're gonna chill out for a second. We just uh, absolutely got active in the alleys, man. It's, the thing is out here, the alleys is just where you see stuff you wouldn't normally see. Now I'm not specifically talking about, you know, people just like living in the alleys and camps, but you know, it's kind of like where I get the most like visual stimulation from what I'm riding through. So I think it's cool. You know, it's more about like the graffiti on the walls and the overgrown of the grass and a barbed wire. When I ride through stuff like that, little camp, like that's that's not really what I what my intention is on riding through those. But like on one like that, like pretty much any other time I would have turned around, but like it, you ever get that, I don't even know how to describe it, but like in your brain, you're kind of committed to doing a thing, so you just keep going. Like if everything in my brain was telling me stop and turn around, but I was like, you know what? My main fear in those types of situations is not the people I encounter, because nine times out of 10, as long as you're chilling and just riding smoothly and not really trying to bother anyone, you won't have a problem. But it's when they have a gigantic pit bull. And a lot of people I see now more than ever are commenting, asking me why I have this fear of dogs. Well, first off, I was bit really bad when I was young by, I mean, you wouldn't even guess the type of dog, but it was a golden retriever. So not even like an aggressive breed. So I already had like this, um, this sort of fear of dogs my entire life. After that, it just, it already, I was, I was screwed, right? From the jump. I already was fearful of dogs. And then anytime like an aggressive dog comes up near me, it's automatically like, I just don't even want to be near it, right? So. And then some of you know I owned a dog for quite a while, you know, a tiny little, tiny little dog. The reason I had that dog was because, you know, it's kind of like a family dog. My sister couldn't keep her for a time, so she gave her to me. And then my dad wanted like a companion dog, so I gave her to him. And it's not like I'm terrified of all dogs, right? But like stray dogs, loose dogs, and mainly pit bulls. I'm just not a fan of pit bulls. I don't, I don't really know how to describe it. Besides that, I just, am, I'm not crazy about pits. Um, I'm not saying that all pits are bad. Look at this. This is one of those alleys right there. We could definitely stray through this. There's so many alleys out here that I'm kind of realizing that we have to come back through and check out one day. Today may not be the day, but definitely soon. How you doing? Anyways, we're up here on Figueroa, which goes north and south uh, as far as one could possibly imagine. And, uh, you know, there's the stuff you see on fig. There's nothing out of the ordinary right there. So yeah, I don't want to be taken as like an anti pit bull type of guy because I do like I think all dogs are good at heart, right? But thank you. The odds that you're gonna run into an aggressive pit in South Central LA are just exponentially higher than if you run into a pit that's not aggressive, if that makes sense, right? So and it's also one of the most common dogs you see out here on the loose or just in general because they're excellent defense dogs, right? They're just, they're just they're aggressive. Well, these off a good one. Um, so long story short, that's, that's kind of why. Hopefully I summed it up properly. If anyone has any other questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments, but that's, uh, now you understand kind of my mentality, hopefully, when I'm going through these alleys. That is the only thing that worries me. Like people, whatever, if you want to try and rob me, whatever, that's fine. I'm just going to dip. But a dog is like, their mentality is different. Like a hungry, angry dog, they're not, you can't just, it's much harder to get away, right? Anyone who's ever been chased by an angry pit, you know what I'm talking about. That's another aspect of it. I've been chased by dogs before that are like vicious. So if you got your own dog stories, leave them in the comments. If you uh, understand what I'm talking about, if you disagree, leave it in the comment. I'd love to hear everybody's thoughts and opinions on dogs. I hate that intersection right there. It's so hard to get through there. 
But anyways, that has nothing to do with the fact that we're going to continue alley cruising. I think there's a way we just came, right? Because I couldn't see where I was going, going down that way. How you doing? We're going the opposite direction. Okay. So much ground to cover in so little time. Let's uh, let's go ahead and go down this alley a little bit further, and then we're gonna cut to the left, go back across Fig, and then check out the other side of the freeway. I really go on that side of the 110, just because you know I don't know what's going on over there. Actually, turns out we will not be going. Um, oh no, got dirt on my lens. Hopefully that hasn't sh blocked the shot this entire time. Uh, we got a flat. How this happened? I don't know, but it is uh, it is totally flat. Luckily, we're pretty close to where we started. We didn't even get to cover that much ground. Um, I don't know what to say. There's uh, there's only a few ways you can get a flat riding out here through these alleys. The main is is riding through a gigantic screw or nail, which is what I'm gonna assume happened. Uh, one thing I love about this bike is when you get a flat, doesn't matter where you're at, you can just throttle it home. So that's what we're doing. Um, definitely a shorter video than I expected. I was trying to stay out here for at least like a couple hours. We're gonna work on that a little bit more after ugh, this. We barely scratched the surface of this part of town. We didn't even get to the other side of the freeway. So we're definitely gonna come back out here soon. Uh, but right now, let's see, let's see if we can see what caused the flat. It's gotta be a nail. Oh. Oh. Little, little, little dog. That's the culprit right there. You know, when you're alley surfing, you're bound to just run over a bunch of crap. And sometimes it goes inside of your tire and gives you a flat. So that's what happened. I'd rather go in my tire than in my body, I guess. That's a good way of putting it. They're looking at it. I don't know. Um, but long story short, we're not going to be able to continue today's ride or any more content today. On Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, see? You guys see my face? Look what I saw. Pitbull. Luckily chained up and uh, not looking very angry. But uh, we're just going to go ahead and keep pushing the throttle to get us back in, in the limp mode. Is this good for the wheel or the tire? No. Do we care? No. <laughs> we got to get back in one piece one way or another. So this is how we're going to do it. Anyways, we got a whole year of content coming up. Let me know down in the comments below where you want to see me ride this year. Uh, we have so much ground left to cover in LA that we haven't even touched the surface of yet. So that's uh, that's priority one, is do as much LA content as we can. If I travel, it'll probably be on a regular bicycle. We didn't travel at all uh, on camera last year. I did do a little bit of traveling, but I didn't like film at all or take my bike. I just traveled you know as an actual like vacation what i realized is that it's a lot more fun to travel when you are like you have it in like an agenda like you're filming or doing something so we'll probably be doing more of that anyways uh thanks for watching more videos coming all year stay tuned let's keep going peace